The chairman, governing board of the school, and the proprietor, uh, the chairman, uh, the vice chairman of the school, the PTA executives, the school management team, the teachers and respective parents and guidance here present. Assalamu alaikum to you all. Uh, good morning, parents and our dearest teachers. It is a pleasure to welcome you to this uh, school, uh, to the school's sixth PTA meeting. You are present here reflect a shared commitment to our students' educations and their success, and together we can strengthen the bonds between home and schools. Kalim is a beautiful school in terms of moral studies and lastly structure. I choose to put this structure last because no, no matter how beautiful a school is, if it's lacking in morals and studies, then it isn't beautiful at all. Please, to all parents, let's keep, let's keep keeping our, our kids beautiful, neat and tidy, because they are, because they are beautiful and our sons. Let them all follow. Uh, let them all follow with the school's colors provided by the schools in terms of uniform, sportwear, and shoes. It makes them even more beautiful. Let's collaborate and discuss ways we can continue to enhance the education and experience for our children. With this short uh, opening remark, uh, thank you for your dedication and support. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, next, I will be calling on uh, Mr. Anas Mishanu on the adoption of last minutes. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The governing board of the school, the school management team, and the PTA escorts, we welcome you all for this great occasion, the general PTA meeting. As usual, we have already shared the minutes on our various platforms. The teach means the WhatsApp for parents to check, observe, and make the necessary correction, which has been done already. And that has been done in order to save time and discuss the issue ex extensively. And uh, we have done that already. So in view of the above, we are now going for the adoption of the last minute in the absence of any. Somebody should move forward for the adoption of the last minute. Anybody can do that among the parents, staff. Are you so, perfectly. Yes. I told you. I told you. OK. Then who is going to be the second? Yes. So that will be. Yes. Yes. So, in view of the above, the minute has been adopted. Am I right? Thank you so much. Thank you very much to you all. The last minute has been adopted. And I am going to the presentation of the financial status by the PTA financial secretary, whom is the person of Al-Haji Kabiru Jelani. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
let me just give the uh, financial report quickly. We are starting with our governing balance. We have 51,939 during the last meeting. That is our offering balance during the last meeting. Uh, we did our expenses. Uh, one of the major expenses is a uh, water dispensing that we have been buying to for the students for the third term and the first term. Uh, we also sponsor another one program that is STEM program material at a rate of 239,000. And uh, we also buy a new dispenser for the new school, this one that we are here. Uh, then we still buy another more can for the dispenser. That's only our expensive. Our now closing balance is 336,856, which is now our current balance. Uh, we collected our what do you call it? Uh, 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 PTA report for the New Year's course. That is what we are going to hand over to them when we did the New Year's course. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. uh, these are the stems we sponsor. These are the, what the student has been doing during the, the stem. <coughs> we did this. Did this? This is another one. This has a few among of the STEM program. Just we decided to bring one or two, three. There are many. This is what we sponsor for the STEM program, and the PTA will continue to, uh, with the where we stop. Thank you very much. So. Uh, I'm moving forward to call on the acting chairman for the dissolution of the current PTA ESCOs and the nomination of the new ESCOs. Uh, Assalamu alaikum uh, once again. Uh, you'll be wondering that uh, I'm acting uh, the seat of the chairman. Uh, unfortunately, chairman resigned from the seat, so that is why he's not uh, with us here. And the vice chair, the chairperson, also sent apologies. She cannot be able to meet up uh, with the meeting, so that is why they asked me to represent. Uh, the chairman on her behalf. So please bear with me. Yes, the announcement just came to me. Just came to me. So please bear with me. Yeah. Uh, I want to use this medium to inform you that the current ESCO are here by the ZOB. And the new ones will be nominated by all of us here, the parents. So anybody that is interested should notify us. Maybe by raising his hand. By raising his, his hand. Ah, uh, and... Uh, hmm? Okay, okay. Even though the Constitution is on the... Uh, we, we send, the Constitution is there. Yeah, the election of police.
basics. Section 1, election. All members as provided in Article 3, A and B, shall be eligible to vote and be voted for as stipulated in this constitution. All contestants must be parents whose wives, children are in nursery, primary, and secondary school, who are ESCO members to serve a complete tenure. Election should be by raising of hand, as I, as, as I told you. That is open by logic. No member should propose more than one candidate for a post. There must be a seconder to the nomination. There shall be no nominations and voting by proxy. Any nominations of candidates to any elected post shall be made by the Congress. Two or more persons shall be nominated for a post. A nominee shall stand, should, shall stand elected if he or she has the highest number of votes cast in the election. If there is a, if there is a tie between aspirants, a fresh election to the post shall be conducted in which case, in which case, the candidate with the highest vote stand elected. In case of two deadlock between candidate and during election, as provided for in two above, the chairman of the electoral committee shall be allowed to vote as to break the deadlock. So I think uh, these are the elections uh, guidelines so far. Mm, I think so. We can start to nominate uh, the, the posts are as follows. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. There is what? I think the section of the electoral committee, they are the ones to, to what's it called, to handle how the process will go. So I'm asking, is it that we have an electoral committee on the ground?
Hmm. The chairman, uh, the chairman and vice chairman also. Really. The chairman and vice chairman. Okay, these are the posts. From the constitution, okay. The the chairman, the, the posts are as follows. The chairman, vice chairman, secretary, treasurer, financial secretary, PRO, auditor, and uh, we are going to select elect uh, two ex officials. That is from the past uh, past uh, escorts. Two of them we elect. Uh, we are going to choose two of them to be our ex official. So, Mr. Chairman, sir, I will now hand over the election. Mm, yes. The, yeah, yeah, it's, it's just open by law. Nomination, it's just the nomination. Nomination. You see the post. Open the page three. Page three. Page three in the past picture. And then the election for this post. Each person to be elected must be one of us. There are certain posts that will go to the teachers of this very school, while there are certain positions that will be uh, contested by the members of this association. Uh, the positions we are going to contest here are the office of the chairman, the vice chairman, secretary, treasurer, Financial Secretary, PRO, Auditor, and two ex official members. Uh, the positions of the Chairman, Vice Chairman, Auditor, and Treasurer must be occupied by parent or guardians of the pupils of this very school. While the position of Secretary, Financial Secretary, PRO, and Welfare Officer must be from the teachers of this school. So now, So the outgoing secretary and chairman of the past escorts are the ex official members. So we only want to nominate them as constitution for provided that they must be the ex official members. So now we are going to start with the office of the chairman. We are going to nominate two people out of which then we consider one of them. So who is going to nominate the office of the chairman? Any nomination? Ibrahim Anka. Mala Ibrahim Anka. Okay, the second one. For chairman. Yes. Is there any for any second nomination? For the office of the chairman. For the office of the chairman. Okay. I nominate uh, Mr. Ibrahim Lawal. Ibrahim Lawal. Ibrahim Lawal, please stand up so that you can see. So now we have two contestants. So out of these two, we are going to nominate one of them. By raising hand. Okay. Not to get bullied. Just get a nigga. Another guy should go out. And then another guy in our should go out. Yes. Hey. My lord. Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay. So let's have a single house, please. Let's have one, one house. Yes. So that so, would be the time So, 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 Esteemed parents, I stand to uh, thanks you, especially the person that fell in a, that uh, I've been to maybe little association. However, uh, I decided to step down to uh, the second person that wa was donated. I thank you all, please. Thank you. Okay. Say from the from the female sisters there, somebody wants to. One of us as the vice chairman. Maybe if I may suggest, we can nominate from the females so that one of them will be our vice chairman. For someone to rise up to, to rise his hand so that we ask him to talk. So now he'll make his own nomination. So if after maybe if has nominated, if anybody has a contrary interest, then now he should also raise his own hand. Then he make the second nomination. It is not mandated that we must we must nominate two people. If we nominated one and we are all agree with him, there is no need for that nomination of the second one. Yes. It's okay. Okay. So now Okay. Take it in the bracket in the last. Bomi. Omaya. Omaya. 
Any other nomination? Okay, there were two. Okay, has your Fatima? So now we have two contestants for this position of vice chairman of this PTA. So let me introduce Sajia Umayya to come and introduce herself and make an Okay, it's Okay, So, what for your campaign? I I think that she's more experienced than me. She has more politics to do. Thank you. Ajay, let us hear from you. <laughs> Chairman of this association. So, congratulations. Our next post is uh, uh, the post of the Secretary General, who is supposed to come from the, one of the teachers of this very school. So, let's have a nomination from the members of this association. The post of Secretary. Um, my name is Ibrahim Raila, Anas Manishan. Mr. Anas Manishan. Okay. So you are entitled for a second term. Yes. <laughs> yes. So don't rush for the XSP show. You are coming to it. Yes. <laughs> so. Yes. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Sir. I want to ask whether this nomination can be Okay. That's a question. Okay. So I can suspend the support the nomination of Michelle, which was done initially by somebody. You can. Then I support. In regards to what he has just said. I really, in fact, I wanted to make that comment from, from the beginning. Usually, 
the past executive should not dissolve himself. It's the electoral committee that stand to dissolve the past executive. And any nomination should be seconded. That is the ideal way of nominating a candidate. So any, any candidate should be seconded. That means it is legal and it has been, it has been agreed upon by the Congress. Thank you. Thank you very much. So our next position is uh, the Assistant Secretary. Any nomination for the Assistant Secretary? From the parents this time. The Assistant Secretary shall be from the parents. Can I nominate? Member of my committee to nominate. <laughs> because earlier somebody was allowed to nominate. That's why. No, it is, it is a mistake. <laughs> it's an oversight. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, the umpire has to you know, nominate somebody. <laughs> they, there's no, they, they don't have the post of assistant secretary. Okay, that's what yeah, it's yeah. secretary. It's only financial secretary. It's only financial secretary. Okay. No, we are done the chairman. We are going for the audit now. Okay. Audit. Then you know, in the hierarchy yeah. after the chairman and vice chairman, the secretary, secretary will follow. Yes. So now we are going to the auditor, treasurer, finance secretary, PR1 welfare. Yes. Okay. So our next position was not the assistant secretary. Uh, our next position will be the auditor. So who is going to nominate, nominate for the post of auditor of this association? And this one must be from the parents. Nomination for this post of the auditor. Like was able to see a house so many commitments. many commitments here. Treasurer from the parents. Somebody should nominate for the position of financial secretary. Yes. 
Jamila Jeru. Fatima. So now, Mr. 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 Hardy is, is on a post, Kenan. Yes. Okay, who is, who is, who is not a second? Yes. Yes. Okay, sorry, please. Just sit down. <laughs> So, Mr. Hafiz, congratulations. You have been nominated, being satisfied the requirement of all the post, and then having not <laughs> scores the minimum post <laughs> of nomination that is two votes. <laughs> yeah, I have been declared at the time as the PRO. <laughs> I have been uh, nominated. <laughs> so our habits now, uh, uh, our PRO is Mr. Habis. So now for qualifier officer. Yes, qualifier officer. Yes, there is. No, it's for the, it's for the teachers. It's for the teachers. My name is Aloka Sadi. I would like to nominate my name is Melissa Sadi. I am seconding the motion of Mrs. Kadija. Kadija, who? Madam Akadija. Okay, well fire, well fire. Make us look good. Chairman goes to Haji Fatima. The Secretary of the Association goes to Anas M. Meshan, while the auditor is Haji Amina Aoud. The Treasurer is Dr. Mustafa M. Kanuma, while the Financial Secretary is Deborah Ojo. Uh, the Public Relations Officer of the Association is Mr. Hafiz. What is that? It's called Hafiz Hussein. Okay, Abdul okay, Abdu Hafiz. Abdul Hafiz Hussain. While the, the, the post of the welfare officer goes to Khadija Ismail. So, on behalf of the uh, election committee, I wish to thank everyone that is here present and even the ones that are not physically with us, but they are married side with us. And we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for granting us time and ability to conduct this election. Uh, uh, I have forgotten to <coughs> recognize the appearance of one of our noble lords, Dr. Mukhtar, uh, Justice Mukhtar Yushaw, 
who is a high court judge, manning high court theory here in Kusau. So, Justice Mukhtar, you are highly welcome. And please, if possible, you can rise up so that people will know you as my daughter. Thank you very much. Are we going to inaugurate it now? Yes. <laughs> so in, in, the, in the circumstances, I will invite Justice Mukhtar to inaugurate it. It's my lord. <laughs> All protocols duly observed. Now, having been uh, invited to inaugurate the members of this great association, permit me to import some legal, whatever terminology in it. I will start with the chairman. Can you please come forward? <laughs> When I say I, you mention your name, and you repeat after me. No. <laughs> Solemnly declare and affirm. All protocols duly observed. Now, having been uh, invited to inaugurate the members of this great association, permit me to import some legal, whatever terminology in it. I will start with the chairman. Can you please come forward? <laughs> When I say I, you mention your name, and you repeat after me. No. <laughs> Solemnly declare and affirm. Do solemnly declare and affirm. Do solemnly declare and affirm that I will discharge my function. That I'll discharge my function as the chairman of this great association. As the chairman of this great association. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Without fear or favor. Without fear or favor. Affection or ill will. Affection or ill will. So help me God. So help me God. And the vice chairman. Mention your name. Do solemnly declare and affirm. Solemnly declare and affirm, and affirm that I will discharge my function, that I will discharge my function as the vice chairperson, as the vice chairperson 
of this association to the best of my ability, without fear or favor, affection or ill will. So help me God. Congratulations. Then, uh, Secretary of the Association. <coughs> you repeat after me. Say aye. Aye. Mention your name. Thank you, sir. Next is the auditor. The repeat of time you mention your name. I the treasurer, Dr. Mustafa, to solemnly declare the form. Declare, declare and affirm that I will discharge my function. That I will discharge my function as the treasurer of this association. As the treasurer of this association to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Without fear or favor. Without fear or favor. Affection or ill will. Affection or ill will. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. Congratulations. Declare and affirm. And that I will discharge my function. That I will discharge my function as the financial secretary. As the financial secretary of this great association. Of this great association to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Without fear or favor. Without fear or favor. Affection or ill will. Affection or ill will. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. Congratulations. Clear and affirm. That I will discharge my function. I will discharge my function as the PRO of this association. As the PRO of this association to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Without fear or favor. Without fear or favor. Affection or ill will. Affection or ill will. So help me God. So help me. Congratulations. <laughs> Do declare and affirm. Do declare and affirm. That I will discharge my function. That I will discharge my function. As the welfare officer of this association. As the welfare officer of this association. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Without fear or favor. Without fear or favor. Affection or ill will. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you, Gentlemen, thank you very much for the work. The active chairman of this occasion. The former. The former. Oh, the former. Sorry, the former chairman. I hereby dissolve. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks for a compliment of the season. We are welcome to this uh, great occasion, which is the PTA meeting where we share ideas and uh, for the purpose of our children. I would just like to start repeating myself because we have some new parents that they are not aware of, uh, they are not aware of our historical background, which I need to just give in brief. The school was established. September 2019 uh, and commenced the activi academic activities which we have the governing board chairman in person of Dr. Mohamed Bahagumi and the vice chairman in person of Professor Nasir Garbananka and the coordinator of the school in person of Professor Rashida Mohamed Uma. Then, I also have the team of the school management headed by myself in person of <coughs> Ali Muhammad Mahaja. We have the vision and mission of the school, so we need not to go deep on it. 
we look at the current status of the staffs. We have seven NYSC. We have 21 tenure staffs. We have six admin staffs. Cleaners 14, as you see. Up to the end, including the drivers, we have five of them. When we look at the population of the the teaching staff in field of gender sensitive, we have 20 staffs uh, male and we have 14 female. We weigh the staffs based on qualification. We have two master's holders, 24 graduates, four HND holders, and four NCE holders. And one of the two master's holders, one is about to back his PhD soon, inshallah. <laughs> we look at the population of the school based on time basis. Look at the chart there, that I need not to just read it, but at least you can glance it and see what is there. That is the population we are having presently in the school. This is the continuation. The other one was in uh, secondary school. This one is for primary school. You can see the population. It's the same. Now, the enrollment currently uh, operating as uh, of 32% of the school capacity. These are our future plans. Some has already been on progress. The secondary school we have started already because during our last PTA meeting we couldn't reach this place, but presently we are in operation here. After this, our discussion, we will have come to take you around to see what we are how we operate and the materials we possess in the school. Among all what we possess, we also have some challenges. <coughs> this is where most of my talk consigns, because it's a responsibility given to us, and we have to discharge it and look at the problems we are facing. Without your support, those, any progress we may have may have a certain limit. Still students are using some of their parents permit them to use tattoo, henna, wearing necklace, rings, and what have you. When somebody is under uniform, he's under control. It's not everything that he makes use of. If some of us are not, we are not under, uh, we are not under uniform by now, but those who are in military or paramilitary, they know what it means. When you are under uniform, you are under control. What they give you, that's what you will do. Then we look at the improper dressing. Some of the parents, because we said we use a black shoe, canvas and what have you. We have specific dress for Wednesday, which is sportwear. Some of them will use the same black shoe that day. They will use white canvas in, on other days. Any specific dress assigned for any date, everyone must to use it. If a child did not use it, when we, when we seize it, we may not give out again. We have been given, but we are telling you now that we will not give out. Or else, we ask the driver not to pick such a child. If you bring them yourself, we ask the security men, they should not allow that student to come in because he is not using a proper dress. Non-timely payment of school fees. This is the giant point. Some people can bear with me that we have given the liberty even to the extent, say, if you cannot pay once, please split into two. We know how the economy is. But still, some parents will not pay until we push, continue pushing until we send some of the children back home before they should be able to come and pay. One parent was, was talking to me one day, why should I be doing this? I said, come. When I show him the debt, he removed his eyeglass. He said, are you telling me all this some parents did not pay? I said, it is the record. Please assist us. When you make any budget in your monthly meetings at home, consider us. Consider our education. Anything you leave this student with, Allah is not in this part that knowledge if we are able to give them. 
please try to comply and cooperate with us and see what we can do. We know of the economic challenges that I talked about, so then I want that one. Parents' attitude towards students' homework. Let me be frank with you. We, are, we said you assist the children in doing the homework. Some parents took the pen themselves to write the homework of the children in their notebook and bring it to the teachers. It is the students, are, are, are we giving the homework to the students or we are giving to the parents? To the students. Then you guide them on how to, how to do this. We are not saying that you should not guide them. You guide them how to do but don't use your hand to write for them. Then if you use your hand and write for them, how do they, if it is during time for exam, what will they write? We are asking you to assist us. We have only limited time with them. And your own time is much. Please, assist us in doing that. If someone should do the homework for the children, we may not match it, or we put zero. Interactive session between the children and the, the parents and the children. Some of the, some of the parents force the children to tell them what transpires in the school. We are not telling, no, don't do that. You do it. But when you have a challenge, go to the school directly and ask us what is happening. This thing is this. This thing is that. We are all human. So that we can take corrections and amend those things where they are. Instead of starting telling this person, call this person, send this message and this. It will not solve our problem. Please, we are seeking for your cooperation in that aspect. As I said last PTA meeting, I said PTA were assisting or right, buying writing materials to the students. I said they should stop and they have stopped it. It's our responsibility, we parents, to be buying the materials for the students. But up to now, some parents are not doing that. Please make sure you provide all the necessary writing materials to your words. By the way, a child can, can, can finish. Two, if you're having two children, maybe within a time they can finish one packet. It's not that they are using it to write. Today, when they come with it, it will lost. Tomorrow, you provide another one. Some of them, before coming, you check. Do you have this? Do you have that? Then you just push them. No, go to school, go to school. Please, let's provide those materials for them. Then, we are having some challenges with some parents in field of pick-up cards and the security men. We have our own in our site. Some we took the passport, the pickup cards are not ready, or the person did not provide them. But we used to give temporary pickup card. If you don't have, we will not allow you to carry your words. If you send somebody with your pickup card that is not his picture on that, we will not allow it. Because security reports came to us recently about nine students, female, different category. Even in the university, they came up, carry them, they went away. Up to now, no information about them. So as we brought them to us, we want to give you back safely. Please don't give an opportunity for such a thing to happen. Let's come into school. We instruct the security, don't fight them. I said, when it is 8 o'clock, they should close the gate. They may not even be outside, you see them. Those who will be outside, they will not answer you. Please bring them on time. You know the situation of the hammer time. Wake up by 3.34. Prepare them with their meal. Some of them are coming without meal. When they come, they will start saying that they are having stomach ache and what have you. When you ask them, have they eaten? They say no. Please try to prepare whatsoever you give them to take their breakfast and bring them on time. The school, despite all the challenges that we are facing, look at the aspect of the school assistance to scholarship. Those who lost their parents, we took responsibility of full scholarship for them, 100%. But if the father should die, not the mother. <laughs> if the father should die, not the mother. The mother is, even if she's working, still that one is an offer. Based on our knowledge and our Islamic perspective. Now, look at what we say, full Full fee weight, total number of students, 10 of them presently. The amount the school is losing in that aspect, 1,564,000 per time. Then we have the Academic Excellence Scholarship and the Proprietor Scholarship. First position, each of them, tuition fee will be free. 
So urge your child to perform very well so that you will get this waived free. Second position, 50% tuition fee. Third position. And the proprietor scholarship for tuition fee waived. Total number of students, 60. <coughs> Cost implication, 2,842,500. Now look at all others. We have a lot to see. Initially, the population was not much. Now we have about 331 students in the school based on the enrollment. When you look at the WAVES scholarship, a total of eh, 6,377,500. At least the proprietor is trying to pull it at least. I will, I will urge parents, please, to cooperate with us and assist us in the development of these children. The opportunity they are having, I'm sure, about 99% of us here, we didn't get that opportunity. So let's assist them. There is nobody is dull, unless somebody who is not pushed to, to assist us and see what we can do in the development of these children. Thank you very much. You are welcome. principal of the school. Uh, next on our agenda, we are going on AOD, which I believe some of the parents have been waiting to see we reach to this stage. So it's time for questions, observations, and so on and so forth. Complain, whatever you have. Regarding to the school, and please, sorry, uh, you say your name and your complaint or observation. Uh, 
Sorry, permit me to say I have four children or four kids in this school. Uh, to Brian and Jess three, quite my primary six. Abdullah in primary three, Ismail in nursery two. Yes. So, so one of them, one of them was giving his uh, desk books and writing materials late, which affected his academic performance. Because whenever lectures, sorry, classes are going on, he doesn't have writing material. He doesn't have test books. Whenever assignments are given, he doesn't have anything to write on. So it's really affected his academic performance. So I'm urging the school to please, I don't know if there are other kids with similar problem, that this should be uh, avoided, please, because it affects their yeah, academic performance. That is one. Then two, um, I don't know if the school has programs of uh, like quiz, essay writing, you know, competition. I don't know if such is carried out in the school. Uh, and also, outside the school. Um, we normally see schools, you know, outside doing well. You know, academically, uh, maybe schools involved in competitions, different competitions. So, but I don't know if ours, in particular, are uh, also into such activity. It's uh, just my observation. Um, my name is Christopher Mohamed I have two observations to make. One has to do with uh, late, or let me say delay, you know, from the side of the school when issuing test books and writing books to the pupils. Uh, I observed this in one of my kids. Uh, sorry, permit me to say I have four children or four kids in this school. Uh, to Brian in JS3, quite my primary six. Abdullah in primary three. Ismail in nursery two. Yes. So, so one of them, one of them was giving his uh, test books and writing materials late, which affected his academic performance. Because whenever lectures, sorry, classes are going on, he doesn't have writing material. He doesn't have test books. Whenever assignments are given, he doesn't have anything to write on. So it's really affected his academic performance. So I'm urging the school to please, I don't know if there are other kids with similar problem, that this should be uh, avoided, please, because it affects their academic performance. That is one. Then two, um, I don't know if the school has programs of uh, like quiz, essay writing, you know, competition. I don't know if such is carried out in the school. Uh, and also, outside the school. Um, we normally see schools, you know, outside doing well, you know, academically. Uh, maybe schools involved in competitions, different competitions. So, but I don't know if ours, in particular, are uh, also into such activity. Uh, it's uh, just my observation.
suggest to the school authority if there is a way they can remove those pupils that have academic challenge. And I believe very well the provider of this school who happen to be my secondary school classmates did then how we are going to do each time for those who are academically, academically challenged so that they can give maximum attention and support so that they can thrive in their academy. I don't know if there is a room for this school to adopt such uh, principles in order to aid those who are academically challenged. Then the second thing I had, the points have mentioned during this presentation, is that uh, they are having challenge with uh, paying for school fees. I want to suggest to the school authority if there is a way they can create a wallet. Because we know the economy of this country is biting, it's really biting. So uh, if a wallet is being created for parents to be depositing money, uh, is it a weekly or monthly, depending on their capacity, how they wish to? So that it will simplify the payment because it's not everybody that can pay at once. For those who are not able to pay at once, we should create more than for them so that at any given time they can draw something. You will be amazed that at the end of the term they will be able to settle with the school. Thank you. So I'm going to move on. My name is Dora Sari. And I'm here to this school. And I have a child. My observation after taking the last one with the other the provider of this uh, wonderful gift to the Governor community of the Northern Nigeria Flat. First observation is about the observation made by my colleague, Mr. Fatima, on the issue of uh, contributions. That is need for the management to look into allowing SWAS to compete with all the peers in the states. This is very, very important. They will be able to also assess so far what they have been doing, the good work they have been doing. When they go out starting from internal competitions, they start to go out for this from nursery to primary to secondary it will be very very important for them as uh, the kind of uh, escape that they can they can work on. Second observation is uh, the need for the management also be organizing the kind of uh, training and the training of the staff at the beginning of each time, especially on conflict resolution and classroom management. I don't know whether they have been doing that, but it's, it's a good idea to decide if we are doing constantly. I give an example to the problem of my child, the child that is talking here. He brought a script asking me to explain whether it is right or correct as a new creature, a social producer. He said, uh, I define so 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 and so 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 and so so. I think I can my students. But when I ask my teacher that, cancel the answer, he could not respond to me in a nice way. When short of bullying or what? Yes, so he was so demoralized. As soon as that in the beginning of time, that child came in that class all his So so what I'm saying, what I'm saying is uh, that people this uh, uh training and training of the staff in 
this aspect. It's very, very important. Very, very important. As teachers, we, we normally encounter these uh, problems. But we, we normally handle it. It's not everything to report. It's not everything to report. This is a good idea that you can share because the importance of uh, caring teachers' meeting is for us to share this message. Okay, it's for us to share. So this, 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 I think, I will ask you of sharing, and that's why, why, why I'm sharing. Other cases, with this uh, conflict resolution and so on, because you know children, they are at this level, they know how they are being handled in the class. This staff will try to take everybody as well. This person will try to show some sort of discrimination. Maybe I'm a child of a uh, doctor, this person, and a child of a uh, politician, this, and a child of a common man. People who just, by the right of, you know, the standard they saw in this school, that's why they brought them, their children. Not that they don't have, they have the money, but they manage to sponsor their children. So such children should, all be, should also be very important without any discrimination. Thank you very much. <laughs> My complaint is about closing time of students to students because we are at the end of the year, especially because of the English teachers. Last time, my child was brought from the three times. I don't think that any of the year that accepts students to come to by three times. Yes, my complaint is about the children and children from my children. The auntie will not look at the book of the I collect the book, submit a writing, inside the class, if he did it to write his blood, and he will not look at the book. I ask the one to do your assignment to say, he will not answer me, just like the child is in primary one. He cannot be prepared to keep all those things to get out of that. Thank you very much. Um, my is somewhat what okay, so I'm a researcher. Um mine is to talk about a lot to Mr. Passage about allowing the school to compete with other school. Actually we look at the standard of our school. I think the children need to engage other schools so that we can bring the best out of them. And how can we do this? I noticed that most of these conditions are going on in the school is mostly on English, mathematics, and those are the basic, but just few that are science. So I noticed that mostly, maybe it's not that the, the children are not, our students are not being controlled for not using their mother tongue in the school premises. When you come to pick, you see these children, they use their mother tongue. And I think this raises is for a child to have confidence to, to what we call, to compete on this spelling bees, all these competitions, they need that basic foundation of good English. When you see some of them speaks, it's, you will look at and say, is this really coming from this? And it's not just little kids that you know they are just beginning. You will see the little ones are more conscious. Than, so I think we should work more on making streets. Let them let them be confident to speak it, and our teachers should be here to correct them. So by building this confidence in them, they speak not feeling that I can't do it. Let them have confidence to speak this English and correct them. With time, they will be and maybe all this. Uh, what's called the face screen, things like that, spelling the good, try and put them in and give them the course assignments to do and give them just a week or two, come and do it. 
and they come and present these things like that. I think it's going to be to their home. Thank you. We have had so much, and uh, I would like to thank all the parents and our staff for being here to listen to ourselves, make meaningful observations, suggestions on how we can improve from where we are. Before I go, I would like to condole one of our staff <coughs> due to the Dennis of his immediate brother that was shot by bandits. Our fees with do those ones that we see as our competitors. We are not charging much. In primary school, we charge 150. Let's bring it starting 137 or 138. So the difference is not much. We are not charging over charging parents based on the services we are providing. We are looking into the economic, uh, we factor all the economy of the state, and we also know that the states, uh, the majority are working class, so we also know what they take home with it. So we are not trying to overcharge, but we are trying to provide a service uh, that is, will be appreciated by both the parents, and also will not put so much pressure on the parents for them to be able to pay. Uh, in the new session, we are going to introduce another uniform, and uh, yes, we are introducing uniform. And the parents, the parents have already complained that the uniform is not befitting. Yes, uh, uniform for uh, We It was done haphazardly when we intend to start uh, the secondary school session. So we do not have the time to do it, but now we have already gotten all what we need, we have gathered the information, we are taking into consideration the, 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 our, our religion, our society, our tradition, uh, so that it will not be in conflict with the lesson. So we have created, uh, we have established a new uniform. So by next session, so we we'll complete the first, second, and third time, but the pre second, 2024, we are introducing a new uniform. Oh, the uniforms are already here. We have already brought them here. And also the sportwear. The sportwear we are using now is not a sportwear, it's a houseware. So we are introducing two, one sportwear and one houseware. The houseware will now be used either on Fridays, then the sportwear will be used on Wednesdays. So you have to bear with us. It will add some pressure on you. Also, there were a lot of complaints when we intend to start a new session. Some parents have written so much uh, about the cost, whether the, the children can use all the uniforms, and they are making a lot of complaints on the social media through our social media platforms. Um, please, school policies shall not be discussed. Are not subject to negotiation. If you have any concern, come to school. Don't try to influence others' positions. That's what I have saw. I saw the previous time. Uh, some people, because they have already made up their mind, they want to remove their children. They were making so much unnecessary complaints uh, that will maybe not in any way to appeal to school. Uh, so that's why we did not respond to you. Uh, we feel there's no need to respond. And anyone you are complaining for not responding because we uh, undermine you, we respond at least if you have anything just come to school. What we say mm -hmm. the school at the end of at the beginning of every session, <coughs> we have to issue new uniforms. It's a school policy. The reason is at the end of one session, some students' uniform will get taught. Some of them, because they grow faster, will be undersized, which we have been seeing. And there's the need for us to have a uniform looks. They should look smart. At the same time, they should also not feel the fuel before their colleagues. Uh, those whom we have awarded with neatness uh, awards, 
there are those parents who have got like four sets of uniforms. Because which means the, the student use one set of uniforms per day. But two sets of uniforms the student are using will not be able to take the wash every day. It will be torn and it will wear. It will fade, definitely. And uh, some of the students you see there coming with a tall dress, it's not befitting to, as a, to have that look as a student. That's why we made it as a policy that at the beginning of every session, new uniforms will be issued and it should be paid. Please bear with us with that policy. It's not going to be subject to negotiation by the parents. Regarding the schools areas, uh, then we also, I would also like to uh, announce to you that we have already equipped our science laboratories. We have the physics, chemistry, biology uh, laboratory. It is being equipped. So from here, I can go directly to answer some of the questions. There are some questions the teachers will answer if you realize I have asked all our staff to be around. So that questions that has to be with them, they should answer them directly. Ibrahim Lau and Dere, the PTA chairman, asked of what is the meaning of STEM. The STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. So it's kind of a, a skill uh, acquisition program based on science, how to teach children on the principles of motors, the ICs, how, why machines are, used, are being used, so they make some helicopters, they make some bridges, so the principles, so we get the paths and show test to them. Because in the class they will not get those, it's a part of extracurricular activities. And you have the source of funds. The source of funds is from what you pay as a parent, you pay one thousand in each your tuition fee, your school fees, there's a place for PTA fee, for first, second, and third term. That money we receive from you, we refund them to the PTA, uh, PTA accounts. The PTA has an account that's being run by the PTA, so that money we get is not, is not being used by the school. So we take the money, we collect on behalf of the PTA, and refund that money to the PTA account. And that's the source of the money that the PTA is being using. Uh, and you also saw, you saw Turkish flags. Uh, yeah. Uh, whatever you see, there must be a reason. Uh, the name Kalem is Pen. It was just more of a color. You know, man is being taught by Kalem. So, Kalem or Al Kalam or Al Kalemi is a symbol of knowledge. And the Kalem is the name of the school. The Kalem is Turkish name. Because when I wanted to register the school, I think it took me more than two months to try to get a name. So whatever name I gave to the CSC, they will reject. So uh, I sat down, I had to mix names, Turkish names, and also an English name. And when I insert the computer Kalem, the CSC, the corporate office, accepted immensely. That is the source of the name. It has nothing to do with this. But I saw it is meaningful because I wanted any academic. All Kalem schools, but they registered us as Kalem International School. And so the Kalem is a Turkish name for pen. Kalem is a Turkish name for pen. I so much love Turkey. I stayed in Turkey for 22 years. I still live in Turkey, and I know what benefits you can get from Turkey that Nigeria can benefit. And uh, uh, the Turkish flag, we are now in negotiation with three universities in Turkey to pass now. To pass now. And uh, most of the standards I'm making now it is based on the design, uh, design, uh, operational design for those universities that we mind. That's what we are trying to bring. That's why if you look at the quality, uh, it does not befit the institution to be a secondary school. But uh, we have uh, a plan to partner, and uh, they are giving also their outlines and guidelines, and I'm trying to meet up with those guidelines. That's why you see the Turkish flag there. Then you also ask of the PowerPoint presentation that is discussed with the principal, principal, I think, and all the vice principal, I mean, you can get that one. 
Then Dr. Mustafa M. Abdullahi, they said, let issuance of textbooks uh, and uniforms. Uh, I don't think that is true. Uh, you will, the parents here can attest us before we close for the session, we took measurement of each of our children. That's before we even close course for the next session. And the school uniform will be small before even the return. So for those who have not been able to receive their uniforms or time or textbooks, are those who have not paid their school fees. That's just the answer. Anybody who have not paid the school fees, definitely we because we bought those books. We are not producing the books. So we buy the books on your behalf. So when you pay us, we give you. And we are not charging extra. So that's why we are not releasing the books. We are not also releasing the uniforms. But the uniforms are already sold and waiting for you to pay. The day you pay, you get the uniforms back the same day. So the reason why you are not being able to get it is because probably you have not paid. And I believe I also got the information is because of the net payment. Then you also, uh, you also um, brought the issue of quiz, essay writing, competition. And why Kalem is not participating in the, the local competitions or uh, other competitions by other school. Uh, I will hear requests and urge parents not to be tests. We are not in any way in competition with any other school. We are not competing with any other school. So schools can fare better than us. But we know what we should do. We should continue to pursue what we feel is the best for the school. And if you look, most of the competitions that are either being organized, either by private individuals or some organizations, uh, just to showcase students, most of them is pseudo, is artificial. Because they prepare those students, the essay writing, teachers write the essay writing for the students to present as this. We are not going to do that. And that is the reason why we have included effective communication as part of core curricula for our students here in Kalem. To get them prepared, to get the knowledge, how to speak impromptu, how to write an essay writing, how to write a composition. That, that is what they have been giving that information from a foreign firm from Singapore and India. Taking what we have to prepare the graph, and that's what we are preparing for the graph for them. So I'm not in a hurry, the Kalem is not in a hurry to engage into competitions. We have participated in competition when we opened the school in September, I think by November, no, by December of that year, we participated in the competition where we come to in the same year in 2019. But the problem is the students are not ours. We are not the one who raised the students. Most of the students that come to our schools are being raised by other schools because they are on transfer. So we cannot claim credit. For us, we have to prepare for the ground for them with equip them with information on how to compete. So they will have the confidence, they know that it's their making, they know that they have the knowledge. So bringing a child today and sending him to competition doesn't make sense to me. One, they should get the knowledge. There was a letter that was sent to us previously, and one of the English master also was angry with me, Mr. Ibrahim. He, he said there, there was a competition, I think some presidents, I was some presidents. Essay competition. Essay competition. He wrote five pages of essay competition that this is what he intended to do, to give the student to copy. I said, that's not their own making. Why should I collect a credit for what I have not done? I want the student to write. I told him, to tell the students, all of them should go and write an essay, give them interview, let them write. Then from there, you can scrutinize and select the best. Then from there, you can mentor. But why should he go and waste his time and write an essay? For us to present, it's not me. I can't lie to myself. So I prefer not to go to that way, sir. So I believe that the parents should be able to bear with us. 
certain competitions are good, but uh, let the students be prepared first. Let us do our work first. We have a combo which we have not completed. When we complete, they can go anywhere. We can support them anywhere. Then uh, Dr. Abokan Musa, he made the suggestions on uh, uh, recruiting students with academic challenges. Yes, we do have a program. We used to look at students with some issues, uh, especially academically, and try to prepare, uh, arrange for extra moral classes. And if you can remember, last week I think we have sent a test for tablet classes, primary five to six. So now the student in SS level, they have a lot of programs. The previous session, where we decided to scale down all programs is because we have terms, we have the number of days or weeks or months in a term was shortened because of the closure of school because of incident during the motorless regime. So ideally a term should be minimum of 13 to 14 weeks. And we had a term for nine weeks, which means we are only going to teach students for six weeks. Because three weeks will be for exams and ranking and compilation. What would a student learn for six weeks? Let alone we introduce another program. So it's not going to be fair. So we feel uh, now this, the terms will be stabilized because we are now catching up with other states. So from now on, you should expect to see changes with regards to extracurricular activities that we are going to engage the students. That's only the reason why we are not being able to. Then you also you say we want to create a wallet to deposit fees. Yes, I think we have a wallet. We have a wallet. Uh, we have been accepting uh, installment of parents for parents. Uh, some of you will also be on course. Then the Dr. Laurel uh, Saad also, he said, uh, he talked about the competition. Yes, uh, it's good, but this is the reason I have already stated. That's why we have not been engaging. Then he talked about the training and training of staff. Yes, it's good. It goes, it's because of this, I have registered Kalea with Corpus Council of British International Schools. I have registered to school with teachers. I have registered Kalea with British Council for teacher training. We are also in partnership with the National Education Research and Development Council. So the British, uh, we it will have to take us to take some of our staff to Kano or to support for training with the Council of British International School for teacher training. So I think uh, once I have seen an improvement in the security on the road, I think uh, we will continue, we will uh, key our staff for training and training. But by the way, we are also well, every week we used to have inside inside training, in-house training, every week, which I just make presentation, the financial will make, our staff will make, uh, just to equip ourselves with new knowledge how to deliver a transformative learning experience to our students. Then uh, Muntala also uh, talk of uh, closing time uh, to 30. It's too much, yes. I agree with you. I agree with you. The time, timing is a challenge to us and but it's a must as far as the school calendar is concerned. With 14 weeks in a time, even when we cross 150, when we use the cross, I now realize that at the end of the session, we cannot be able to cover 70% of our services. We can't. And it's going to be challenging. There was never a time that our staff were able to complete their cells. The weeks were short. That is the reason why during our days when we are in school, sir, we to have preps. We we'll go for preps, evening and night preps. Sometimes that time when that's when we used to have not. Some teachers will give us not to write for us, students. 
for them to be able to come. This is like Now we don't have that experience. What we are able to give to the students is only what they can get. And I feel my conscience is not free. Like I'm teaching you. We are also teaching the students. If we cannot be able to cover the syllabus, because the questions that will come, because the overall aim is for them to sit for the wire and pass. With the half knowledge we are giving to them, questions may come out from that. How are we going to do that? That's why we increase the time to 2.30. Thinking most of the Spanish school start from 4 to 6. But not me, some start at 3 o'clock. Yeah? 3 o'clock. It's a challenge. We added a period, one more period, to be able to see what we can be able to do. But the syllabuses can never be able to be made up at the end of the time. If we are teach not to lecture, we are teaching students, so they must understand, they must comprehend the topics. Before we move to the next one, we have instructed our staff not to rush. Let them teach and evaluate every subject, every topic they have treated. There is no point of teaching and just living when the student is not on the side. Anything. We have to devise a means together with you. I believe we can sit down with the new PTS course. We can sit down and see how we can be able to. But for now, it stands at 2:30. Uh, but the PTA. Well, after the meeting or any other time, you can come also that we can uh, continue to discuss and find a way out. Unless if you are doing one extra more classes, we can arrange for classes. But what you think? Apart from Thursdays and Fridays, I don't see anything. Saturdays in the morning, our students go to Islamia. In the evening, they go to Islamia. Which other day? It's a challenge to school. Is a challenge to go for. Mariam Uman Sanda, primary one. Uh, teachers not uh, looking at the books. Primary one, who is the primary one teacher? You should answer, it's not me. Who? It's not here. Who is the primary one? It's not here. It's not here. Okay. So, somebody should answer that one. Is there any response to that? I cannot respond to that. Any? Yes? I think to that effect, we need to do this thing. Yes. If you speak vernacular, they will write your name. They went back and told their parents. So the parents were even calling me that why should we charge money for those who speak vernacular? I said, you brought them here, we should train them. So we need to use that language that we did. Because initially in academic environment, primary one to three, we're supposed to teach them with our mother tongue. But no school is using that method now. Then why shall we go for it? But when the school closes, the children are playing there within themselves. They can speak any language. Not the same. And we said no, that our children are speaking vernacular. I will not agree. In support of that woman who said her child is not good, has not been marked. I will disagree because some of the children, when they finish the writing, they don't submit. In JS1, on Thursday, when I was marking their assignment, I gave them. I saw one student, throughout first time, he didn't submit his book to me to mark. All the assignment I gave, the note I used to give, I marked what they wrote. I have to come and ask, who is Nahir Muhammad? He stood up. I said, where were you? What is your note? I didn't mark anything. The class were surprised. So the children have different behavior on the way they act. If they realize what they wrote is not correct, they may not present because their books are under their locker. When they finish, they don't put it there. Before the teachers realize that one, it will take time. So you bear with us. But when you see a challenge, please come to school and talk to us. We are ready to amend. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, the next... Uh, suggestion you know, support and cooperation of what we are doing. Uh, we do believe uh, on the wonderful support you have been giving and we continue to value such support 
We will not take the support for granted. We will do what is needful. We know our responsibilities. We will try to keep to those promises and the trust you gave us. We will do all what we can within our reach to make sure that our children uh, find the school a, a good, uh, it's a part of our mission. Now we have to say we want to create an environment where education is going to be formed for students. Well, individual uh, peculiarity will be understood. Uh, I will try to see to the best we can to impart knowledge based on the principles of global best practices for teaching and learning. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. And fitted with two cameras. One, you see one camera from the beginning and the other one at the back there. We have a control room to make sure that we measure whatever we see, whatever is being done in each of the class. The issues where we were expecting such kind of issues is at a higher school, higher level. But do you know what? We have recorded a case in Nozori. And none of our nursery classes, from primary one to three, nursery one to two, we don't have any camera because we taught their kids. So, but from primary four, five, six, higher primary, we have classes fitted with cameras. But while we observed or we witnessed cases, we are in the lower primary. Nursery two for that Yes. So we are not taking the security of the children. We will never allow any staff to define all children between themselves, students, student issues, or teachers, student relations. We have put everybody on our watch, including our securities. So we have fitted this school with 183 cameras. Apart from the restrooms, everywhere is being watched, 24 hours. Apart from the restrooms, that's the only place where we do not have cameras. In the primary school, there was an oversight because when we started, we taught our thing, we, we taught things narrowly. We taught things that might not happen. So parents, please, whenever you have observed anything, come to school. Let us come with an open mind. We accept quicks. No, but the reception is constructive. The toilets. No, no, no. I said with the exception of restrooms. With the exception of restrooms, everywhere is going to be And they are being monitored. So that is to forestall to forestall issues or cases of those kinds. Naturally, uh, uh, the PTA chairman, you know. In secondary schools in advanced countries, the doors are half of them is glass, so that you can be able to see what is happening. But we thought of doing that, but our children are a little bit too playful, uh, too uh, what can I say? So banking of the doors to observe it can cause a lot of injuries. So we go for higher doors that will start the test of time. But at some time, uh, it will serve some people. That's why we are fitting the cameras. So we wanted to employ those kind of mechanisms that are uh, obtainable in other places. But we have to look at the nature of the environment, our children, the way they are, the psychology, their behaviors. It's also shaping our thinking. So that's why we are using all of those for this one. Otherwise, it's too expensive for us to use them. It's really just for a class. We shouldn't have done that, it would have been cheaper for us. But we talk, we think of durability, something that can start the test of time. At the same time also, because we don't have such issues now, we have to fit each classes with cameras. So we will we, we do as Canada kind or of ever in text to make sure that your we, children are protected, either from the uh, misbehavior of our staff or from the children. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.